video. It's Nana with LivingCooper.com. I've got a Nana so crafty for you today. As you know, we've been in our house for about three years and it's more than 50 years old. Nobody ever put vents in the bathroom. And as you can see, our share curtain rod in the spare bathroom is all kinds of rusty. So I went to replace it and the screw holes in this one are too far apart. Buy a new one. So I'm going to use some Rust-Oleum Stops Rust hammered finish to bring this back to life and put it back in the shower and now that Pops put a vent in there, it shouldn't have a problem rusting anymore. So I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to sand it, use some steel wool on it, and prime it and paint it. Y'all keep watching. screw and in both end pieces, bracket pieces, that they're completely stripped out. So these parts I might not be able to remove. Let me go see if I can find an attachment. I'll be back. Good luck. Lucky for us, Pops always has the right tool, so. All right, y'all, I've got all the pieces attached. I'm gonna clean this up with my steel wool and sandpaper. Y'all keep watching. see all the rust didn't completely go away and come come off there is still a little bit that's got a little bit of a raised surface but the rustoleum stop rust that I'm using is hammered silver so it's gonna help fill in and hide some of the rust imperfections and I'm going to go ahead and do a primer just for extra stop rust effect so I'll keep watching all right so I've got my rust stop rustoleum primer clean metal primer shake it for about a minute after you the ball rolls around and spray some primer on my metal. All right, y'all. I've done my two coats of primer. I'm gonna let it sit for a little while, go cook some lunch, and then come back and do a little bit of steel wool. I made a run in one spot, and then start with my first little coat of hammered stainless. Keep watching. All right, y'all. After my two coats of the primer, I'm putting my stops rust hammered silver stainless steel, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put a coat on there, maybe two, and see how I like that. Got to shake it up real good. All right, y'all, so that was two coats of the Rust-Oleum Hammered Stops Rust. I think I like it. It looks pretty well covered. I'm going to let it dry for a while and see what it looks like. I forgot I needed to paint and prime one of the little screws, so I'm going to do that real quick. And y'all keep watching. Okay, y'all, here's my pieces. I brought them in. I think they're looking pretty awesome. I can't see the texture of the rust. Remember some of the places had some pretty bad rust that we knocked down, but it was still a little bit corroded. But this paint, like it said on the package, it took care of that. It self-leveled and hit the rust spots. So my double curtain rod for the shower, I'm gonna let it sit. Uh, today's Saturday, it's been about four hours since I painted. I'm gonna let it sit and probably Monday, I'll put it together and install it in the shower. So the two rod shower curtain was like 70 bucks, the cheapest one I could find. And I spent less than ten dollars on these two primer paint and got all of them fixed this was the single rod that i purchased to replace it with that wouldn't fit because the brackets weren't big enough on clearance it was thirty dollars so this was a good economical solution for what i needed and like i said it's in a spare bathroom it doesn't need a lot of use but i'm excited that i found a crafty affordable way and i think i liked it so much i'm gonna have pops pull the light fixture down and i'm gonna use the same paint on the light fixture y'all keep watching all right y'all let it dry, practice put it together. It made the inner tube paint scratch off as I put it in the outer tube, but that's no big deal because the puppies can see that. Let's get it put back together.
shower. I got Pops in here to help me because I need help. Check out all of our other videos. We've got some great content out there and keep watching.